I'm Pat Simon. The Port of Corpus Christi held a special meeting today, opening up the floor to public input and what they would like to see in the next CEO. They also address changes on what the future leader can and cannot do. Investigative reporter Brian Hoffman was there and spoke to Chairman Charlie Zahn. Brian, let's start out with those changes. Well, Pat Sclera, the change actually has to do with the agreements, both illegally binding and non-binding, that the CEO can make without Port Commission approval. This all stems from the former CEO, Sean Strawbridge, entering into three independent deals on behalf of the port within his last week of employment, deals which the ports are now bound by. It gives the commissioners who make the ultimate policy decisions an opportunity to become involved in those transactions at an earlier point in time. This change means the interim and any future CEO has to get full port commission approval for any of these agreements. Before that decision was made, the port also heard from several residents and a coalition of local environmental groups about what they would like to see in the next port CEO, as well as their displeasure in the process so far. Once again, I feel the Port of Corpus Christi has missed another opportunity to improve their relationship with the residents and the governmental bodies around them. This opportunity for the public to weigh in on the CEO process is a change from the position Chairman Zahn shared with six investigates last week. As Zahn says that he realizes the port needs to be more open to the public it serves and start to mend relationships that have been strained in the past. I get that sometime we need to go sit down with some of our constituents and, and talk to them and see what their wants and needs or desires are. And so I think we started fixing that process today and, and I can assure you that we're going to continue to do it in the future. Now, this all comes on the heels of a letter from the, co from the Coalition of Mayors, a letter from the San Patricio County, as well as several environmental groups. Now, basically, they were all requesting more transparency from the port in the hiring process of the next CEO. Now, Chairman Zahn does tell me that the port plans to release the specific hiring criteria and exactly what they're looking for in the next CEO. That's going to be uh, given out shortly, and we'll be sure to post that online as soon as we get it now chairman zahn also says they now have a short list of instead of five like we reported last week that has been down to four now four candidates for ceo and they do plan to make a decision by september or october of this year for six investigates brian hoffman